I've been reading about this sexual assault allegation against Joe Biden. And um, if there's anything I, 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 I got from reading the story, it's that the woman was not trying to get famous. The woman was trying to stop getting sexually harassed. And so that's why she reported it to her boss. Or her, she reported it all over the place. Say, this guy's harassing me. So she's not, tr she, it, it seemed like she wasn't trying to get famous. It seems like she was trying to get into a, she was trying to change her situation. She was trying to stop Joe Biden from sexually harassing her. And my understanding is that Joe Biden has always been kind of a womanizer because he's so hot and he's, um, he's old. And that's, it's it, no offense to 70 year old men, but we do not view women the same way at, or they do not view women the same way as 30 year old men. It's hard to explain just because we were raised a certain way. When you're a 30 year old man, you're, you're, you're raised in an environment that has a lot more confidence in women's abilities than if you were a 70 year old man, because back in the day, women had no, so, so their perspective of women is as it, it tends to be more objective, ten, tends to lead more towards Object, object, objectification. Anyway, so um, talking Tiger King. This is going to have a spoiler for the rest of it. So Joe is given this horse because the horse, this woman is about to put down her horse. The horse is about to die. So Joe says, sure, I'll give your horse a home and kills the horse and feeds, feeds it to tigers. And everyone's saying, this is the most appalling thing I've ever heard in my life. Good point. Um, that's cause you are so far away from the state of nature and the state of food because Joe, the cornerstone of Joe's business is food. And that's why Doc Annell, he thinks is killing tigers. And that's why it sure seems like from the show that everyone, that, that some people that worked with him thought that he was putting down tigers that weren't actually sick, but they were old. Because he knows their age. I'm going to put down the old one. I'm going to put down the one I don't like. I'm going to put down the mean one. Which is something we would do if a, if a wild animal was harassing people. We'd put down a bear if it killed someone here. Um, because that bear has killer instincts. Um, but I feel like all tigers in cages have... I mean, if it will rip off your arm... So anyways, um, that leads me to think about paintbrushes because I have spent so much on paintbrushes and I'm like, I, I need a soft paintbrush and a soft paintbrush is from a small rat in Russia or China that you can't domesticate. You have to hunt in the wild and it's commonly killed for food and then they take the hair and the hair is worth more than gold, but hair is very lightweight. So it's a stupid comparison. Um, and so, but is it cruel to use a paintbrush like that? I feel like you can use a dart gun on these animals and then you'd have more animals to shave. You, you, you dart them and then you shave their tail, but then you have to worry about them not having, but, but you don't have to, but then you wouldn't shave their whole body. Cause they, cause they, all I'm saying is you, you, you don't, I would hunt one for the, for the fur. And I feel like not everyone kills them, but because they get trapped and then they'll cut their hair. They'll probably put them out and then they cut their hair and then, but because their hair is worth more than their fur, but their fur is also worth a lot because the the fur business exists, the fur coat business, and um, even though in the United States it's very, it's considered almost crude to wear a fur coat because, especially like from like a mink, which is a, a, a rare animal that can get hunted to extinction that you can't domesticate, um, people in the United States would, would look at someone with a mink coat, a lot of people would, and say, oh my gosh, that's disgusting, and that's why PETA will throw paint buckets on you. Um, but I feel like that business exists no matter what. So in, in a sense, having a, having a soft paintbrush, which by the way, Kaminsky paintbrushes are not for general painting. They're for finishing your painting. You paint with them at the very, very end. Um, but I am, I'm actually getting a red sable. I'm, I'm getting multiple brushes cause I want to, I just need face brushes because I'm, 
because I um, I got some lead paint and I need separate brushes for face painting specifically because I don't want to mix paint. Anyways, yeah. Thank you, government, for your stimulus. Give me another stimulus check and I'm going to have a full business going. So, um, please, government, give me money. Um, Joe Biden, my biggest problem with him is that he lied about it. And he's like, I don't know. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Like if he had said, I thought she was attracted to me and I tried and she's, and she said no. And I stopped. That would be a story that I'd be like, okay, I respect you for saying that. But he didn't say that. What he said is no, she's lying. So all I'm, all I'm saying is I don't like that you're accusing someone of being a liar when that person is actually super brave. 